Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Aye, aye, Captain! Oh! Hey, how's it going guys? JC here. Welcome to episode 41 of the Iron Force of Diamond series. Today we're playing Gangplank Top as voted by you guys. OP.GG and Runes are on screen right now. Before I get into the game, I just want to let you guys know that this might be my last or second last video. So this will be the absolute best time ever to subscribe and have the notification on because I won't be able to upload for an extended period of time and I don't want you guys to miss out when I come back. And I'm sure you guys don't want to either because I'll be making quality content hopefully. And... Let's jump right into it. Really quickly, I just want to point out that I have no idea who I'm laning against because there's a Swain that could be top, Fizz that is probably mid, and then Yasuo could be top, so we don't know who's ADC. Kale is the jungler with that smite, so I originally thought Kale was ADC, but this doesn't make any sense. Maybe Yasuo ADC actually does make a little bit of sense. So by process of elimination, we should be up against Swain, and I do have the MR rune ready. I'm actually thinking if we're up against Yasuo, this will be really tragic because... He could just dash onto me, I can't do much about it. I think Yasuo actually counters GP in some way, if he plays really well. So based on my runes, you guys noticed that I really like this rune page, and it's the exact same rune page I used on the Swain video last episode, episode 40. Exactly the same, carbon copy. And what I really like is Biscuit Delivery is so good. The sustain is insanely nice, and then we have Magic Footwear. So even though I have a really greedy start, like Sapphire Crystal into Refillable, we have Biscuits to actually back us up, so you know, we'll be fine. Also, it's really nice that Talon watered that river. He's also the cannon that keeps popping up in our earlier videos. First blood. What the heck? The I wonder where Yasuo is. He must be leashing, but that's a very long leash. An enemy has been slain. Monka S. If I walk up for this minion and they gank me, I'm dead. Okay, there they are. Oh, there is she is. Whoa, he stole red? What the heck? So, Kale's level 2? How did she get level 2 when the camp got stolen? Interesting. What the hell? <laughs> Wait, I got the kill on a red buff level 2. Yeah, so, uh, okay. I got a little worried because my ping was spiking when that was happening. I'm literally no iteming. Like, mana crystal doesn't do anything for me early, other than... Yeah, I have plenty more mana, so it's as if I didn't have items. It's the equivalent. Oh, that didn't work out. Damn, he's monkeying out really hard. I think this pushes into me, right? Six minions to six minions, and it's closer to his side, so the next minion wave that arrives would arrive to this minion wave first and start pushing out. Even though it's, it should be dead even, but I think we're pushing for some reason. Which kind of sucks for us. But uh, we have some really nice items now. So yeah, the next wave comes and it theoretically is supposed to push towards us. That's why I left right away. Because the minion wave is towards here. And that's also the same logic you can apply when two minion waves are dead even. Like, you literally got rid of your lane opponent, both waves are cleared. The next wave comes in, you could just stand here, have the minions gather up, jump into this bush, recall. And then it'll automatically push towards you. That's a little neat trick that you can do if you want to go back and you have some extra time to spare. Oh, we got the combo. Okay, he can't do that to me. I have items on him. And I believe I have level on him. Yeah, one level up on him. Sweet. Wait, what's this Kale cursing about? Oh, because he stole the red buff and then started beating me? <laughs> That's pretty hilarious, actually. Oh, he loves my videos. I feel bad now. 
That's how you make a YouTuber feel bad. Is he gets his like red buff stolen and then he still pulls through with the love. Hmm. Drop a barrel behind because uh, I could get all in. Just start poking at him so he has less opportunity to all in me. Ooh. I got hit there. Okay. My ult is not on smart cast, but we could ult someone. We still have our, um... We still have our TP. I'm just going to ward up. Drop a barrel here. I don't know what I was trying to do there. I thought I had my E up. That's when you know I don't play Gangplank. I think just using Q is already really obnoxious. Lol. See if I need to ult anywhere. Okay, pop a biscuit here because I see Fizz. I think that baited him. Yeah, that worked. Sweet. Oh man. I <laughs> uh, what? Give me, give me that, give me that gold. Okay, I'll recall here it's inting actually, <laughs> okay it is inting. It's just that if he takes a tower plating then I'll be there to take it. Uh, yeah, we're just goofing around here. Uh, I think it's pretty much over, we're so fed. Tabby's for Yasuo but then everyone else is AP. Okay, I actually regret that decision but this cloth armor can build into Guardian Angel anyway and I could get Merc Treads. So I guess it's not the end of the world. So I'll basically pick up a Triforce, and then after that, we'll just work towards the other items and just keep it at Cloth Armor, that's fine. It might be a bit awkward though. Also, level 13 is when Gangplank becomes really massive. Because that's when we get our really fast barrels. So I, I'm say, I'm thinking we hit all of these and then we get the, our serpents, silver serpent. Okay, sweet. Oh, this is so cancer actually. Like we're actually being really cancer. I was on the receiving end as Trindomir. It's so annoying because. You can't walk up. Oh, what? I just kept missing you. The moment you walk up, you get Q to the face like that. Oh, okay, I should have ordered that barrel and then Q'd him. I could have done way more poke. So yeah, I'm messing up really badly with my barrels. It could have been a lot more efficient. Okay, we finally get to use our Demolish here. Oh, and one thing that I just remembered as I was hitting that tower is you can pop a barrel down to proc your sheen, and then you can auto that barrel to get your or to get your passive back. Oh, I didn't want to Q that because I wanted to Q Yasu. Oh, okay. That happened. Let's back away. So Yasuo has two levels down. We can just keep harassing him. So whenever he walks up, 
Oh my god, that does so much damage. Pop a barrel down, so if he walks up, then we can just hit the barrel. Oh wait, why did I do that? Wait, no one saw anything. I was meant to just Q the barrel, I, I accidentally eat the barrel instead. Okay. Yeah, this Yasuo is not staying in lane. This is impossible matchup at this point. That was sloppy, but still worked out. Wampage. Okay, sweet. So now we can just hit this barrel, and then we'll get our passive to burn the tower, then we'll throw another one down. Hit the barrel again. Oh, I'm supposed to chew the barrel, never mind. Okay, so I kind of get the idea now. So yeah, I just queue the barrel and then I hit the tower. Just rinse and repeat. Okay, sweet. Let's back away. We can buy some massive items here. And I think Yasuo would have AFK. Oh no, he's still here. We haven't used teleport yet. He didn't harass us hard enough for us to use anything at all. Yeah, I literally won't be able to use my biscuits unless he does something to me. I've just been using crafting potions. I'm so far ahead that I could just do whatever, like mess up, oh my god that. But yeah, it's pretty monka s because I've been like, my ping's been just randomly spiking. Okay, that's not the combo that I was looking for. Damn, I'm playing so badly, I do apologize guys. Okay, so I have 750 gold and only one inventory slot, so I'm working towards Merc Treads. After that, we'll finish off Essence Reaver, Eye Edge, Guardian Angel. And then we can decide between PD or Sterex. I think PD just does more damage because of how we can crit every single time. Pretty much 75% crit. Oh, we got him there, holy. I feel like a GP main now. It's only been 14 minutes. Let's see if we could pull that off again. Oh wait. Okay, no one saw that. Oh, I love this farming. Wait, I can buy something with my serpent thingies. Oh no, never mind. I can't yet. I forget that you can buy these things. So you're supposed to buy fire at will first, then death's daughter. From what I quickly researched. But some people go death's daughter first as well. So that confuses the hell out of me. Oh, rip. Alright, that was a terrible... Oh wait, I, I spoke too soon. I was about to say that was a terrible ult by me, but I actually got a kill. Okay, get another tower. So we pop that down, and then we queue it, and we order the tower for that passive, and then we just repeat again. So yeah, something like that. Oh, get some of those serpents. We walk up and all in Yasuo if he stays. Oh, 
Why do I keep... I'm actually mildly autistic. I just keep spamming E on the same spot. Oh! Okay, we'll push out and then after that we'll look to either take top tower or we could go for... I'm so not used to the barrel decay speeds. It keeps changing, but I know that level 13 is when it's the best, the most optimal, so I should expect that. You drop it down and you can explode it instantly. So let's see if we could do something to this fizz. Go back to top because there's a massive wave coming in. And then I'll just look to ult somewhere. Oh, what? Okay, I guess we'll go mid. I want to be there for Rift Herald though. So, nice, nice, no, Rip. I really want Rift Herald. That's why I tried to get it when we were doing Rift earlier. I really did try to steal it. And it's for a really good reason as well. Because I would have been able to drop Rift so oh, what the? Oh, that one part doesn't work. I tried it. I'm so used to having every- oh my god. My ping keeps spiking really high. Regret life. Damn. Yeah, it's really awkward because uh, I think the rentals are still awake, but I don't want to stay up too late. They're pretty much staying up to like 4 or 5 a.m. with me, which uh, really sucks for me. But yeah, earlier like I was trying to walk and then it just doesn't respawn half the time. So it was like, let's go and pick up a red buff and then I'll look to split because I have TP, so I want to be pushing bot lane. Okay, let's go there for Rift Herald. We also have our ult to back everyone up. Oh. Wow, he backed away on the last second. Whoa, she flashed from that? Let's go and finish off the Tarek over here. Ah, oh, okay. Wow, so Swain has 11 kills but 47 CS. Interesting. He actually took it from me? Hmm. Okay, we'll pick up a crit cloak. It wants to be really powerful here. I'm cut off his escape. Let's see if we could do something here. Oh! Oh, 
Well, that's why it's pretty useless. Damn, I wish I knew how to use my barrels. Okay, we need just a little... Oh my god, I should have upgraded my... Um... Yeah. No one saw. <laughs> There's so many bad moments here. I'm going to get 200 more gold and I'll make sure I upgrade both of these things. So I have so many silver serpents and I just forget to buy items. Oh really? Alright, here we go. We have IE. Oh. Alright, nice. I think our help should be enough. Oh, okay, Swain's gonna survive this easily. Leona is not going to kill Swain. Okay, so I think the idea is you just place a barrel down and then you just place another one. Q. That's about it. Fight here. Nice. We should just take this Baron and end the game. So he has auto and then cue the barrel. And we do this so fast, even without the jungle. Very nice. Now I can pick up a uh, BF sword here. Massive. Okay, so despite me playing extremely badly, we're still going pretty strong. And obviously Baron was the right call because pushing in, we get an inhib max and we might actually die off. So I feel like this was the best play. Oh my god, that damage. Jesus, that's disgusting actually. I don't even know what I was doing, but he just like melted. I've been farming the silver serpents really poorly. So let's try to do a little bit better. Can head towards mid and finish off this Tarik. Jeez, he's a tank. Wait, why does he do no damage? Oh, okay, he has some funky items. Oh man, I should have dodged that E. It's my bad. Okay, we get GA here, and then we'll work towards PD next.
But yeah, even though I have a really good score, I played extremely terribly this game and I'm fully aware of it. And I'll be learning a lot from this video as well. It's part of the reason why I did not like Gangplank. Because if you guys saw from an earlier video, I actually downvoted the Gangplank every time it came up. It's not like it will affect it, it's just what it does when you downvote a comment is it goes down the list rather than at the top comments. Uh, there's a good reason why I don't like Eggplank is because I can't play him. But I can make him work in bronze and silver. My ult's coming up. I'm pretty sure I just forgot to um, buy another Silver Serpent thingy. Oh damn, wanted to KS. I can keep spamming oranges. There we go. Nice. Let's see if we get a red bar. Oh, okay. Maybe we can get a Yasuo. I literally want to just end the game and not care about Yasuo, but... Oh, what? Late game kill. Oh yeah, she's level 16 now. Look at the burn. Amazing. Okay, so I can buy my next Silver Serpent upgrade, which I could have bought a long time ago. And then we'll finish off with PD. The only reason this is going for so long is because I'm playing very poorly. I'm really just focusing on mechanics and learning rather than trying to end the game. Okay, so let's focus up and just fight properly. We should be in the back line and just throwing barrels at them. We don't need to go in and melee. Okay, back away. Got another barrel. A lot of damage. Okay, so Fizz is alive. Fizz is over there. Okay, so basically full build and pot it up. This is a very long game, and I'm having trouble ending it for some reason. We need to get Baron again, and this time we'll I'll play properly and end. That last team fight I did okay. Like it's not great, but it was a lot better than before. Okay, so Fizz got caught out. Let's see which way he goes. Nice. 
nice. One shot of that kill. We can't end. We can take this though. Keep autoing and oh, I just queued the Baron. That doesn't matter though. I've tried to end the game through macro rather than the very poor mechanics and like cluelessness, the distractions that are going on in my head while trying to figure out gameplay. So I'm doing my best here and like we're slowly succeeding, but we're doing a really poor job. It's almost a 40 minute game, which is really unacceptable. Gonna burn this really fast as well. Whoa, my God! I think I just one shot at the kill. Blue buff just vanishes as well. I think we can push in with this wave. The barrel mechanics are like very distracting. Like, I feel like I can't talk. Got him. <laughs> Got him. There we go. Look at the burn. Insane burn. I think I might have been able to kill it with the burn only because I have Elder Drake. But what we can do is go to. Whoa. Late game kill scary, but I think we can deal with her. Whenever our ult's down, we just pop a barrel onto her with our ult and she's instantly dead. I don't want to waste. I think I can just... Yeah, this Yasuo is not important. So we don't need to use our ult. Hmm. I have enough Silver Serpents almost for the next one. I don't even know what I was doing half that fight. I was just staring at my barrels. Worked out, I guess. <laughs> oh man, I'm not proud of this game at all, but hopefully you guys still enjoy it and you guys learn something from it. There's gonna be the inevitable like, oh, I'm a GP main and this is super cringe and I'll take it guys. Like, I deserve that. I deserve those comments. I know it's coming. So yeah, let's have a look at end damage and see how we go. I'm pretty sure that Jarvan did really well. 19 kills. Would have outdone me. Oh my god. Okay, never mind. Yeah, no one's damage was comparable to mine. So we went 18, 2, and 23. The next episode might come in 3 weeks time, or it might come tomorrow. So it depends on how much time I have tomorrow, because I have to fly the next day after really early in the morning. I usually record late at night, so 
depends if I am up for the task. If I do upload tomorrow, it means I got little to no sleep and I just went straight from video editing straight to just catching a taxi to the airport into a 10 hour flight. So we'll see how we go. Anyways, GG well played and hopefully you guys have the notification bell on. I'll see you guys all whenever that may be. Cheers.